mean, I can't tell you how foreign that is to me. I mean, it's so funny that it didn't happen to me, first of all, because I have a YouTube channel. I produce content. Not that I have millions of subscribers, because I don't. Do I want millions of subscribers? Well, if I did, then, well, <laughs> great. <laughs> then I would just let go of any limitation, open to myself, so I got that many subscribers because of what I produce. I would also get that many subscribers because I would be entirely myself without caring what other people think of me. Just because I don't care what other people think of me. You're allowing the outside to dictate what it is, what it is that you want to do. You're falling prey to one of the darker sides of social media. Let me ask you a question. Why are you using your time and energy getting so caught up in what other people think? Why? Well, 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 why do you have to be a victim of that? Well, well, what do you intend? When you make videos, when you, when you put out content, what do you intend? And that is the most important thing. Don't fall into, okay, I have millions of subscribers, so I'm going to restrict myself. I'm going to censor myself. That's certainly not a road that I want. certainly not a road that I would want you going down either. Do what you want to do. Regardless of what people think of you. I'm just not going to accept that notion. I'm sorry. I, I really, you know, I don't I mean, I would have to have a lot of following, first of all. I don't have that much following. And I'm not envious of the people who do have more following than me because it's out of their control. Some people just have a bigger following. That doesn't have to do with 
my content and the value of my content. Point blank. I just think that you're living from the outside in. That's what this is. You're, you know, you're letting this pull you down. Why let it pull you down? It's going to be like that. Not everyone is going to be like that. I mean, those sound like some bad apples. But not everyone is a bad apple. There are going to be, I'm sure that you know this, but there are going to be millions of people who will come on that will support your work and what you're doing. I certainly do. I would support it even more if you let go of doing it just so that you can keep a following. Just so restricting yourself in a way that is acceptable and ethical. I mean, whatever it is. Do what you want to do. That's <clears throat> all that matters in the end. Well, do you want to live in that reality? Is that it? Is that? I mean, you choose your reality. You choose your world. You choose how you want to live and the life that you want to live. And it does not sound like what you're describing as something that you want to live. It sounds like there's some stuff that needs to be let go of, and that involves all of these feelings that you're feeling. You're not a victim. And, you know, Don't let other people get the better of you. You're not a victim. Were you sabotaged? Were you pushed and tricked into having a YouTube channel so that this all would happen. I think that that was your decision to, to start a channel and create content in the first place, which has now become very popular, very popular, a huge channel. Very sucked into 
What other people think of you, Mike? I don't. I don't want that for you. I want you just to produce whatever content that you want to, and continue doing that with people that would want to listen. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not here to judge you for being controversial. Okay, so you may be controversial. That's the narrative. I'm sure that it's tough to live with that narrative. I'm saying don't. You're not controversial. of anything wrong with what you produce. What's controversial is some of the audience members. You are not controversial. There's nothing wrong with that. Other people who are choosing to be bad apples and put you in a negative light to mess their side of the street to clean up. Not your side of the street. You know, let it be what it is and keep doing what you're doing. That's what I'm saying. But I don't want you to just get so sucked into being a victim to what is non-physical. There's nobody throwing bombs to your house. There's nobody trying to shoot you down or anything like that. I don't want you to get sucked down into the dark sides of social media. And if it happened to me, I certainly would not get sucked down. I would just say, you know what? Okay. Want that? If you think that, whatever. I can walk you. I can delete the comments that you make, and just whatever, whatever. I I just will not choose to let that get the better. Of me. I can assure you that I would not choose to let that. Get Them. You have free will to do whatever it is that you want to do in your own channel. Delete the comments. Address it. Make it clear. Very, you know, you, you have a lot of power. And you can use your will, your autonomy. You are in control. They are not in control. By falling to this victim mentality, you're letting them win. I understand what you're, what's going on perfectly, but I, I, I'm not going to, you know, no, that's, I mean, no, I know, I don't, I just want to tell you honestly. So, 